seven, yes, seven affiliate marketing tips in just one video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure there's a lot of people that you already heard that shit from, but look, in this video, I really am actually gonna give you seven affiliate marketing tips. I'm gonna show you how to make money with affiliate marketing. Now let's get into it. So tip number one is to pick a niche, right? Now, what does that actually mean? Most people make the mistake of getting into a market. What is a market? A market, market, for example, might be uh, health, right? So you've got health, you've got fitness, you've got beauty. There are so many different markets out there, but they are gigantic, right? And on the, on the internet, a lot of the companies that have all of the big money, I'm talking about multiple millions of dollars, they're the ones who are dominating the markets because they have the money, the resources, and so on and so forth to do so. So what do you do as someone who's just getting into affiliate marketing, who's trying to figure out this game, but wants to make some money at the same time? You really need to niche it down, okay? So niching it down means you need to go into, into figuring it out figuring out which part of, what market do you want to be involved with, okay? Then you need to figure out what niche you're going to be involved with. I've created other videos in my particular channel where it teaches you the difference, like how to find, um, niche markets that are actually worth diving into. So go ahead and check out those videos. But for now, you wanna really just brainstorm a bunch of ideas, go to that video, figure out what it is you're doing. That's tip number one. So tip number two is to create a YouTube channel, right? Why do I say YouTube? Because I do believe video is not only the present, but it is 100, 200, 3000% the future, okay? People are so visually oriented that we love being able to sit down and watching someone on camera. You can just tell by just by looking at a camera and talking to someone, like if they're full of shit or not. And I think that's why people really love camera. Whereas writing can be somewhat persuasive without really telling what it is. You don't know how long it took them to sit down and carve out that writing. You don't know how long it took them to kind of, you know, manipulate all the words to make sure it was the right sales fate and so on. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right, that's business, that's marketing as well. But there is something about standing in front of a camera and talking to people and they can genuinely resonate with you, your message, what you're all about and your, your, your way of kind of delivering things. So I believe in YouTube for multiple reasons, okay? And there is a reason why I'm building towards releasing a video every single day for the rest of my life. And if, and if, if I'm gonna give you a tip with affiliate marketing is to create a YouTube account so that you can start doing affiliate marketing through YouTube. Point number three is to build a website. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell would I build a website when you just talked about doing YouTube for free? Because you are in affiliate marketing and the best way to get approved for the more powerful affiliate marketing programs is to have a website. It is gonna make it 10 times easier for your application being processed to show that you actually have a website. That's how these affiliate marketers know, oh yeah, this, this person must be pretty serious because they've actually got a blog, they've actually got some content out there, so we will accept them into our affiliate marketing program. Otherwise, you're looking at more like a phone interview and it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you. It's like trying to like convince someone like you really need a job. It's like that, okay? Whereas if you've got a website, they usually look, uh, look past that and just give you, uh, give you access to the affiliate program immediately, okay? That's why you want to build a website. Also, you want to start building your own brand anyway. You want to create as many digital assets as what I heard once as possible, right? Whether that's your email list, your YouTube channel, your Facebook page, your Instagram group, whatever the case may be for you, okay? But you want to build as many digital assets as possible because each one of those assets at any point in time could just completely disappear. And then what are you going to do? If that ever happens, what do you have that is yours, okay? And a website is always yours. As long as you pay your hosting, keep your URL um, up to date, it's always gonna be yours. The content on there is yours, 100% you control it, okay? In which case, you need to go through WordPress. But I won't go on more on that, because that's more for you to figure out, but WordPress is where you wanna build your website. The fourth affiliate marketing tip is to find an email platform. Now, there are a lot of affiliate marketers that haven't talked about this because they're not very good at it, but building your email list is your number one digital asset account. I touched upon that just previously. So your email list is the most super powerful thing that you can do. As long as you keep your bill up today, that list is yours. And even if you choose to leave the platform, most of them have like one or two clicks, then you can move that list to another email platform, in which case you're taking your customer base, your followers, right? These people who have actually subscribed to you, they believe so much in what you're talking about that they've actually subscribed to you and they wanna learn more. Now it's your job to get them onto that email list. You make sure you build that platform. I personally use ConvertKit, and if that's what you want to use, awesome. Reach out to me, I'll show you how to get it, and then I can provide some coaching on that as well, okay? But if you choose to use AWeber or GetResponse, that's your call. It's completely up to you. At the end of the day, what I really want you to do is find a platform that you like, that works well with you, that you can start using 
to build your digital, your number one digital asset right now, which is your email list. Point number five is to join affiliate programs. Okay, now it comes about in two prongs. Number one, if you're, if you're, if you're looking at free methods and you need to look at joining different affiliate programs, JVZoo, ClickBank, Amazon Associates, eBay, um, you could go into the more powerful ones, which is, but obviously you need a website first before you can get to the other ones. All right, number two is you go into pay, right, where you choose a particular market niche, right, to go into, and in doing yourself, you wanna really position yourself as an expert in that particular niche. In doing so, you're gonna allow yourself to be able to get higher premiums for what it is that you have to offer. There are people out there, for example, that are sending people to a to headphones, right? That only make 7%. So they're $200 headphones, but they're only making $14 per sale. That's ridiculous. When you think about the fact that you could you could also become an expert in online marketing, for example, and be able to position yourself for $2,500 commissions. It's completely up to you and how you want to go about doing it. Ultimately, it comes down to if you've got the money, obviously you want to get into paid traffic. If you don't, then you want to go about doing it a free way and join the free affiliate programs and do it that way instead. You really need to kind of figure out your program, your platform, where you're at and where it is that you actually want to go long term. So the sixth point uh, for affiliate marketing tip is to start creating content. And you want to create as, as evergreen content as possible. Now, evergreen isn't as um, evident for people who are doing like who are going to focus on Facebook. But if you're going to go on Instagram, yes, because people come check out your profile and very quickly, very quickly flick through all of your content that's available. You want to do evergreen content on your blog because, you know, if people visit your blog in three years time, if you're going to take all of the hours and energy and effort to create a blog post right now, then you want to get to that basically as soon as you possibly can. You don't want to be creating a piece of content today, spend four hours on creating this content and optimizing and promoting it. And then in two weeks time, it's completely irrelevant, right? It's, it's really like a, it's a complete waste of investment of your time and your effort and your energy. Create evergreen content that you're going to be able to monopolize uh, or monetize if uh, rather, um, as long as you possibly choose to, right? So a lot of the topics that I talk about um, on my YouTube channel, you know, there'll be people in 2023 that'll be able to watch this stuff and go, shit, that's actually still, still applicable. And I'm banking on that, okay? I'm banking on creating one video and being able to make money five to 10 years from now, all right? And I have no doubt that the stuff that I put out there is valuable enough that it's actually gonna be able to help people. Do I know if Instagram's gonna be around? Do I know if Facebook's gonna be around? YouTube, no, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm kind of just banking on the fact that they are so big, they are so popular, they are so huge with what it is that they do that I'm pretty confident they're still gonna be around and being able to utilize those platforms to build my following. And this is why the email list is so important so that no matter what happens, people will follow you on their, their preferred method of media type and platform, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or whatever the case may be for them, okay? All of that is irrelevant. At the end of the day, you want to be creating digital assets in your in your own way, shape, and form, okay? So the seventh and final tip, if I can get it right, for affiliate marketing is to rinse and repeat. Now, I know this is simple enough. I know this has probably been said enough, but let me tell you the truth to how to make money online. You need to be persistent, okay? Um, <clears throat> Ray Kroc in his movie, uh, in, in the movie McDonald's or whatever, whatever it was called, um, he actually talked about the number one quality of all of his success, whether you like him or not, it is irrelevant. But the number one quality to him building the biggest, <clears throat> the biggest food chain store in the world came from the quality of being persistent. And you need to apply that to what it is that you're doing, which is why it's so important to pick something that you know that you have a strength in, something that you can do long term, right? Because it is going to take a lot of time. You need to have some sort of skin in the game in order to figure out how it works and how to go about making money from it. The only way you're gonna do that is to be persistent. No matter what comes up, no matter what the failures, the successes, you're gonna to stick to it, you're gonna carry through, and in doing so, that's gonna allow you to generate a income online. And if, and if you obviously, if you keep rinsing and repeating, keep rinsing and repeating, you'll go from you know $10 days to $50 days, to $100 days, to $1,000 days, okay? So it's really just, it's about a journey, right? It's not about a destination. Like, no, I, I don't want to just get to this point. No, because I guarantee you when you get to that point, you're going to want to you're gonna want it even better, right? Like I, I remember once upon a time thinking, I would love to just make $100 a day online until I made, you know, five grand in one day online. Then from there, it was kind of just fucking ridiculous as to the possibilities, okay? So let me tell you this. Follow these seven steps. Make sure you build your business, and if you've got any questions at all, comment below this video and I'll get at you personally. If it's a big enough topic, I'll probably even turn it into a video so everyone else can benefit from it as well, all right? 
Otherwise, in also commenting, make sure you subscribe because I can throw you into the end of month draw where you're going to get free coaching and courses from yours truly, where I'll be able to sit down with you, talk about your business and what it is that you're doing and help you take it to that next level, irrespective of whether you've started or you're two years into the journey and you're just stuck. You don't know where to go. You need a strategy, all right? I can help you with that. So make sure you do that. Subscribe, comment, check out the free training below. Everything you want to know is there. Any questions, you get at me. Take care, much love, and I will see you in the next video.